Hello and welcome. A lot of the parents who get in touch, they they phone up and they basically say, hi, I'm looking for a tutor. I've never done this before, so I'm not sure what I ought to be asking. So on our Facebook page, we have um, a range of frequently, the questions that were frequently asked. And my thoughts were that if I was to share them with you, it would hopefully give you an idea of things that you might want to ask when you go looking for a tutor. So for example, one of the, we don't often get asked what qualifications and experience the tutors have. This might be because um, when someone phones, I'm inclined to kind of like say, hi, um, they tell me what they need. And then I can like say, do you mind if I chatter for a bit? And then that's conversation. I can like explain my personal background and experience. And then if I'm re uh, recommending one of the other tutors, then I'd kind of like give them a bit of background at that time but that is something that you may want to know it may be that you are you're looking for a tutor with a specific type of experience or with a specific goal so for example if your child has some form of learning difficulty or something or if they're looking to um, pass a specific exam or something you might want to be reassured that the tutor that you're going to be working with or your child's going to be working with has the relevant experience and that potentially leads into the next question. How long have you been tutoring? And um, personally, I've been tutoring for 12 years, but a lot of the tutors that work with me have been tutoring for less times, one or two have possibly been tutoring for longer, kind of like independently. Um, but it, what I would suggest is more, ex more important rather than um, the experience qualifications, the length of time they've been tutoring is are they able to build a rapport with your child so that if your child doesn't understand something, does your child feel confident to ask? Okay, so I would put, personally, I would put that above all else because it could be that you have the most, the tutor with these amazing qualifications, all this experience, but when it comes to working, <coughs> sorry, directly with your child, your child just doesn't, doesn't feel comfortable enough with them to ask. Or it could be that you have a tutor that hasn't been, that's quite new to tutoring, has very little experience. However, the rapport that they can build with your child, the confidence they can help your child to build, far outweighs the tutor's qualifications and experience. So think about what it is that you're looking for, because that is going to have a huge impact on the tutor that you choose. This is quite important, and that is what age range do you work with or do you work with adults? Because if you're speaking to a maths tutor, hi, I'm looking for a tutor for my son. Yep, hi, that's fine. I can help. No problem. You have this long conversation and they kind of say, um, OK, if I can just take a few details, please. What year group is your son in? And you go four. And, oh, I thought they're in year nine. No, he is nine, but he's in year four. And so. Before you start, make sure that you're, the tutor that you're talking to is actually in a position to help because there's obviously a huge difference between working with a, a nine-year-old and a year nine child. So just double check that before you get too engrossed in the conversation. Where do the lessons take place? You've got three options here, pretty much. Four, three. The first option is your home which for some parents is the ideal because it's, it means there's less disruption for the rest of the family. You don't have to take your child somewhere and hang around while they have the lesson. Often costs slightly more, but um, the convenience often outweighs the expense. Option two is that you take your child to a tutoring centre. So the, if the lesson takes place in your home, you know it's going to be one-on-one -on -one unless you've got other siblings working with your child. Tutoring centre is more likely to be group lessons. You'll probably pay slightly less for it because you've had the there's less convenience in you going to the centre and the centre can tutor more than one child at a time, which does cut down the cost. Another option if you want one-to-one um, -one tutoring at a slightly lower cost, and that's if you take your child to the tutor's house, which for some families works really well. The fourth option is online lessons, and these could be either online one-to-one -one, or they might be online in a group. So just double check. But again, that will affect the price. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one is going to be more expensive than group lessons, but 
for some families, it's more accessible, it's easier, it saves traveling, and it's just the preferred option. It's often what the child feels more comfortable with as well, which is going to make the difference. So that's the next question I would double check is where are the lessons actually going to take place? How are you going to work with my child? So this, for a lot of parents, probably may not be something that I'd necessarily think of asking. But the reason some people may ask is some children don't necessarily work through, work their best in a, say, academic sort of um, setting. So worksheets may not work for them, especially if they struggle with the reading of them or something like that. So whereas for other tutors, they may provide other um, resources, but that may not work for your child. It may be that they want the, the worksheet approach to learning. So find out what the tutor's um, tutoring technique is. Because um, again, it could be something that you hadn't thought about, but you might want to consider. Some tutors only work in school term time. So if you're wanting lessons, just say over the summer holidays or something as a booster, or you want to carry on throughout the holidays, or you just want term time, that's again, something that you may want to ask and check cost. That's probably um, a question that um, is paramount really, because that will dictate whether or not you want to go ahead. Could be that you will pay a few recently, a few people have come and like said, I'll pay whatever it takes because I'm desperate for this help. Um, but a lot of the time it is um, something that's you need to consider in the equation. And you may want to find out the difference between one-to-one -one online, one-to-one -one face to face or group lessons or whatever. So it may be that you want to kind of like look at various different avenues. Okay, can you do it any cheaper is a question that we often get asked. Um, the answer is generally no. It could be for other tutoring um, groups that yes, they can. We do have a couple of A-level students who, yes, actually we could offer slightly cheaper, but they don't have the experience that the um, kind of adult tutors have. Having said that, very often younger student or younger tutors are, because they've just done the curriculum themselves and they're often the age of, or closer to the age of the child. Primary school children especially seem to adapt well to having kind of like a teenager chew to them. They seem to see them as a friend and it goes down quite well. So it's it's something that you might want to consider kind of like an A-level student as opposed to um, an adult. That's just something that you'd have to think about personally. Do you offer a free lesson? Do you offer an assessment? Do you offer a getting to know you lesson? We offer our first lesson free. Um, different tutors do it differently. Our lessons are always first lesson is always free is as much as anything an opportunity to find out whether the tutor can work with the child the child can work with the tutor getting um a feel for where the child is at and the support they're going to need going forward so um we do have a first lesson free policy if you're not happy then you don't have to go any further some tutors other agencies or tutors would do it so there's um, a free assessment Sometimes this can be code, and I don't mean to sound cynical, for if your child's up, not up to par, then we won't be able to help because we don't want you to affect our um, pass rates. Um, so it, other um, there's a whole different ra range of reasons why tutors offer the first lesson free. For, for us, it is literally just so if you're not happy, there's no ties. Um, it gives us an opportunity to find out the best way to work forward. How do I pay for the lessons? So in this instance, I mean, for ourselves, some tutors may want cash. I don't know, out beyond Clara James I'm talking about now. Some tutors may want cash. Some tutors may do an invoice. Some tutors may want you to pay for a bulk up front. Some tutors um, may do an invoice at the end of the month, etc. And Clara James, what we do is we say you can either pay each time we come we do have an option to pay up front and we also have the option to pay an invoice at the end of each month. Our cancellation policy, basically our cancellation policy is, um, could you give us at least two hours notice 
online. If you can give us half a day or more, if we come to your house, that's appreciated. Because we're then before that, the tutor will have spent time preparing, getting everything ready. And um, if we're traveling and you leave it to the last minute to cancel, it could well be that we're already on our way, about to turn up on your doorstep and we get the message going, Ashley, can we not do today? And it's, it's so because of this, I mean, it hasn't happened often over the years, but we have now started to implement a cancellation policy that if we have less than two hours notice online, four hours face to face, we do still have to charge for the lesson. If you need to cancel the occasional lesson, can you just give us, say it's someone's birthday next week, so you're going to cancel or something. Um, the more notice you can give us, the better. Um, if it's something that's already kind of scheduled in the diary, if it's a kind of illness or something and it's last thing, then like I say, please give us at least two to four hours just so we're um, not already in the car traveling to you um, just to get there and discover we've wasted our time and petrol. Um, do we do initial assessment? I think I already covered that in the do we get uh, getting to know you lesson. Um, the How regular are the lessons with Clara James? It's um, It can be weekly, it can be fortnightly, it can be monthly. It's entirely at your discretion. It depends on what you can afford. It can depends on what your child needs. So, and it also depends on the availability of the tutors. So um, how regular are the lessons? That's entirely at your discretion. Have a chat with myself, with the tutor that's going to be working with your child, and we can see what we can arrange. Do you have a long rating list? Um, generally, no. However, um, because there are a group of us now working at Clara James. Having said that, so when the tutors do reach full potential or full capacity, I do start prior to that, I do start looking for new tutors. But it's taken 12 plus years to build up our reputation. So I'm not willing to take on just anyone just to be able to provide a tutor. I I do put an awful lot of, lot of effort into making sure that the tutors that I do employ are the right tutors. So how long is the rating list? Generally fairly short, but sometimes you may do, you may have to rate a couple of weeks a month. Are uh, the teachers DBS checked? Yes, they are. And what do you need to provide? If we're coming to your home, we provide everything that would be needed for the lesson, apart from a calculator. So you would need to provide your own calculator. Um, if face to um, online, then if you could have pen and paper, and if it's maths calculator to hand, that would be appreciated, please. Do you provide group lessons? No, all our lessons are one-to-one. -one. However, we have recently started doing um, revision courses during half terms and potentially we might do an 11 plus one over the summer holidays. So that's the case, but if it is something that you might be interested in, drop us a line and ask and um, we can provide you with details if we've got anything on the horizon. Finally, um, who wrote our testimonials? Every single testimonial that we put out there is genuinely true and authentic. Nothing's been put together by ourselves. Um, and the testimonials that we have mean an awful lot to me because we work real, every single one of the tutors and I work really, really hard to make sure that we do our very, very best. Like it says at the bottom of the screen, if you've got any questions, please do drop me a line and ask. The email address is info at clarajamestutoring.co.uk Okay. And um, any questions, please do ask. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care and have a great afternoon.